Right, that's them drilled in. All we've got to do is paint them now. So I was going to buy some pre-made hinges, but unfortunately they didn't do the ones that I really wanted. So I bought these blanks. Woo! That's very hot. And uh, drilled them and countersunk, as you see, myself. And they're proper heavy duty, so <laughs> I don't think we'll break them easy. Etching primers on. Uh, we'll stick them with a bit of silver as soon as I get some out of the... Well, I've got a lot of few cans here. Oh, let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for coming along today. Just uh, thought I'd give them hinges a little lick up up there. See me uh, painting a bit of just two pack base coat on there. So you can see I've got no mask on, but that's why I think I'm gonna go and stand that side. It's a little bit fumy in here. Um, so yeah, gonna try and get them painted up. And then um, once we get that done, I've got a few more brackets to make up. Some of which you might have already seen me uh, file up. And then uh, we're going to get these hinges installed in the bed, which is actually coming along really, really well. So I'd just like to say a big thanks to anyone that's subscribed already. And if you haven't, if you want to, um, we'll, be, we'll be bringing a lot more content as soon as I can get this van finished, which is still going to take quite a bit of time, to be fair. Um, We'll be looking at buying another car and repairing that and painting it. So if you're interested in stuff like that, then you might want to take a look or maybe even subscribe to my channel. We'll crack on with this, whatever we're going to do now. Could be filing, a bit more painting I think. So let's get that done now. Let's see if we can get another coat of paint on these hinges. It's only base coat, so it dries so quick. You really don't need to leave it long. Just a few minutes to flash off really. Especially it's really warm in the garage today, so. Well that'll do. It's so dry, we'll be able to put them on. Right, so we've been playing with a router, sight of which I'm very uh, novice at. But we did make a little guide and we're routing these these little slots out in the one of the bed boards so that we can when our bed board goes on the aluminium we're gonna fit them them slots will fit over there quite nicely so that allow that bed board to lay flat. So at the moment we're just uh, trying to do that. So let's have a trial fit and mark the next one. Right, so as I said, uh, not the best person to do routering, but um, and I don't really know what I'm doing. But uh, I'll just secure this template down, a couple of little 10 mil pins carrying away with them and I do sometimes uh, yeah. stick another one there already done our other ones they actually come out
kind of terrible. One more I'll do. So, our first template we've made to uh, cut them slots in there, so we'll see if we can fit this in the back of there and then uh, move on to the next piece. Right, so this is the first look at the bed. And it's nearly finished state, well no, nowhere near finished actually. Loads more to do, but uh, quite pleased with it so far. Got the boards on, Put that board on. Side boards, I still got to fix them down. But, um, so that's in the seated position. So underneath here, we've got a lever. And unlock it and what you can do is hold that hold that forward and then we have the bed and it's rather solid yeah it's really coming together now so uh still got a lot more to do would have been so much easier to buy something flat pack but I don't think I never would have been happy with it. I've uh, got a lot more storage options here. And the good thing with this bed is it can be taken out. And uh, if you want to go out mountain biking, put your kayak in there. Lay it down like that. I'm not done this yet. So bear with. I'm not sure I should have done this on video the first time around, but it was a lot easier when there was nothing in there. But basically, here's your bed. So the bed comes out like that. And then you can put it back in. Well, probably not so easy, but. Okay. So, yeah, well plays with that. Get these foam all that holstered. Woo! Really, really flying. So, that's it for now. So, I've had a busy day out here and I made a right mess and I've had about every tool out I can so I think oh, this is carnage so let's get on with uh, replying to all their messages and then uh, go and sit down put my feet up and go work tonight so that's all for today see you next time or tomorrow so what I'm going to be doing today is got the router back out i'm trying to learn the router as i go that was part of the reason why i didn't film everything because i'm not i'm pretty good at woodwork i mean i can i built the shed you might have seen the video um and obviously we've we've built this bed and all that this is just a bit of, bit of ply off cut but anyway so i had to router and if you can see under there these where these little um supports are so i've routed all them in so then sitting nicely in the plier so it doesn't sit proud or anything like that so i actually made a jig to do that after watching a couple of videos um made a couple of mistakes when i made the first jig but second time around it come out okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a go at making another jig because i've got some hinges some uh, back flap hinges 
then we're going to try and fix three of them onto here and this is going to enable me to have lift up lids on the benches at the sides which is going to give us plenty of storage might put some gas struts on them after uh, definitely gonna have like mag catches on them or something like that but yeah for the time being we're just going to try and get these things mounted uh, just trying to move forward really got the suitable bit out so i'm going to use this this guide um which is what i used yesterday to make the other one this hinge is going to be recessed show you one now this hinge is going to be recessed a couple of mil down so it's dead level with the surface of the board and then that will enable me to fix the back part of the hinge to the uh, to the aluminium extrusions uh, using some of them rolling tea nuts that I've got over there so that's the plan for today well we'll see how we get on but um Right, so my template actually worked out. So there it is. Um, all I had to do is just nip them corners out with a um, with a chisel, and that's inset our hinge into there quite well actually. I'm really quite pleased with that. So I think I'm finally getting this template in lock. So yeah. So basically, the guide bush is 17 mil. The cutter is, think about it, eight mil. So the difference between the cutter and the guide bush is nine millimeters. So when you're making the template, if like this, you're cutting, and that's where I was a little bit confused because I've got no end on this, so to speak. I'm not making a square. I'm not putting a square totally inside there so basically it's four and a half mil each side and you've only actually got three sides so there you go so uh, there's your four and a half mil there that way four and a half mil that way and a four and a half mil that way and this end because it's flush with the end of the timber uh, you don't need the four and a half mil but yeah that's that's come out really quite well so I think what we'll do now is we'll have to get our board, mark our position for our hinges, and uh, just whack them on now. It's, uh, we've done the hard bit, to be honest. Um, yeah, quite pleased with that. Right, so, as you may have seen, we've got that route out. It's come out really quite well. You just have to nick the corners out um, with a little chisel and a sharp knife. Just nick them out. That's all right. And I've just drilled them to take them. But the problem I've got now uh, is... Uh, they're not sitting down in there well enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to um, take them over to the drill and we're going to put counter sink them so they're nice and flush
same down. Right, well that's it. Got the T-nuts in now. Both sides. Right, so that's it for another day. Managed to get a few bits done. You might have seen me having to do a little modification on the back of these uh, boards, just so the the uh, T-nuts sit down a little bit lower. So I just routed that out. And we got our hinges. Look like a bit of Swiss cheese, really, don't they? Um, so yeah, just gonna get a bit of primer on them. And uh, I'll probably throw a bit of silver over them after. But I'll come back out later and just dust them up. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm off for a glass of orange and jump in the hot tub, I think, and then go work. So that's all for now. Catch you guys tomorrow. Right, welcome back to my channel. Um, not done any recording for a couple of days, so uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a little update of what I have been doing. Um, not been sitting about doing nothing, as you might think, <laughs> but I'll give you give you a tour of the van. I'd just like to say big thanks to all the subscribers that I've got, especially all the new ones and all the old ones. Um, if you like any of these videos, then please give us a thumbs up because that really helps the channel. And uh, also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications um, because then you'll get notified when I upload a video, which I'm going to be uploading pretty regular. I've got quite a lot of content uh, waiting to be uh, edited. And once we get this van finished, then we're going to be moving on to some other stuff. Preferably, it's going to be cars, so um, and a bit of kite surfing, probably. Um, and maybe even a road trip. Yeah, so we've been working on the bed. It's on slide rails at the front here, which fit into the alumin aluminium channel. So that enables the bed to slide right forward, and there's some tabs on the back which support uh, the on the aluminium framework. I'll show you that in a minute when I work it. And also we've been doing these side lockers. So as you can see, I've got both of these lockers made now. And I'm really pleased with how the routing's come out. Uh, routed the hinges in, I had to modify the hinges, back flap hinges, uh, in order to fit them into the extrusion at the back and to change the position of the holes and make the counter sinks deeper. So the bolts fit flush on the top. And also put T-nuts on the back which is really handy to be honest because uh, I'm going to be taking these back off shortly because I think I'm going to be covering everything in carpet to start with um, and then we're going to go on and uh, fit some probably a catch I, I'm thinking of maybe putting a, a magnet on one piece here I might make a little hole and router a magnet into there so that will stick on the framework there when it's up or we've, I've been thinking about putting some gas struts on it 
so that's still to be decided but nevertheless i want to get it carpeted because it's just going to make it nicer to be in here and i really would like to get away and do some camping in its own um and also we're going to get some sponge sorted out but if we get some carpet down we can always use a blow up bed if we have to so yeah we've got them both them lockers done and we've got the bed and i'll just put the camera down and uh i'll give you a quick uh, view of the bed in operation right yeah so as i said this is uh on sliders here it's uh nice and solid i've got quite a few sliders in here i'm going to buy some spare sliders in case they have a break simple job just slide the bed out swap the sliders out and put some new ones in i don't think they're going to wear out but if they do uh, we can just throw a couple of new ones in there like 50 pence each and there's about i think there's four in one side and four in the other so if they wear out we can do that and what i've done is i've managed to get a locking mechanism um, that, that fits underneath here let's show you that quickly so the locking mechanism underneath there you can see that which you probably can so you can see a little piece of cardboard there because I had a bit of a rattle factor. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some high density foam and slide it in here and glue it in place right along these bars so that it, it won't vibrate at all when you're driving. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with that mechanism. So when you unlock the bed, you just pull the handle across there and then, as if magic, you can... This is going to be changed a little bit yet, so... This tab here is probably going to be in the middle because I'm currently working on, well, I haven't got the parts for it yet, but a locking mechanism to lock the back part of the bed in place because when you're driving, you don't want this lot to shoot forward. So we're going to have a lock on there and to stop this sliding forward, we're going to have a lock going down into the aluminium extrusion at the back. But when you set the bed up, so you just pull it forward, really quite simple. And it goes down like that. And then we've got probably one of the biggest beds I've ever seen in a transporter, unless you've got a um, full width rock and roll bed. But if you've got a full width rock and roll bed, uh, well, you certainly haven't got a lot of storage because I know they eat up a, a lot of the van. So, yeah, really pleased with the design. It's uh, come out quite well. So, I'll show you fold the bed up. Again, it's, it's quite simple. So all we do is just pull that. And there we go. Push that back into place. Lock our handle up. Yeah, well, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.